Hello my dear students, in this video we will learn about how to draw the images in when the object is kept in front of convex lens. So we will keep the object at different position in front of a convex lens. Total there will be six different images which will be formed when the object is kept in front of a convex lens that is a converging lens. The first position I am taking over here is when the object is kept at infinity. Infinity means that the object is kept at a very very large distance and the rays which will come from infinity as we know that these are the parallel rays. So we will draw the parallel rays coming from the object which is kept at infinity that means we would not be able to see the object at infinity only the parallel rays they will pass through the lens. So but before starting the ray we know that we have to draw this principal axis the central line of the lens this point will be called the optical center 3 centimeter over here we will mark f 3 centimeter further we will mark 2f and over here also at 3 3 centimeters we will mark f and 2f. Now we will take the parallel rays coming from infinity and two parallel rays because we need at least two rays to draw the image. Now these two parallel rays we will draw the arrow also after passing through the lens we know that from the first rule a ray parallel to the principal axis after passing through the lens it will pass through focus so we will be using the first rule it will pass through focus this will also pass through focus since it is also parallel to the principal axis draw the arrows and now draw the shape of the lens over here adjust the boundaries so this is a convex lens this particular figure we can this particular ray diagram we can also use to explain that the convex lens is a converging lens because all the parallel rays after passing through the lens it will converge to a single point that is called focus. Over here we have to write down the characteristics also for the image. The first characteristic of the image over here will be that which type of image it is formed. The type of image which is formed over here is, is real and we know that the real image is always inverted so we will write down the first characteristic as the image formed will be real and inverted second we have to mention the position of the image we know that the rays where is the image formed where the rays are meeting the rays they are meeting at point f so where is the image formed it is formed at focus of the lens that means at f the third character we have to write down is the size of the object. The object which is at infinity, it is of very large size, very huge. But over here we know that it is of only point size at the focus. So we will say that the size of the image, it is highly diminished. Diminished means very small in size. Or we can also write down in this case, that a point size image is formed over here. So a point size image is formed when the object is kept at infinity. For the second, when the object, position of the object, the object is kept beyond 2f. That means behind 2f the object is kept. So what we will be doing, we will draw one object beyond 2f near about 1 centimeter behind 2f again we will start with the principal axis over here then central line of the lens mark it as optical center 3 3 centimeters f and 2f on both the side and then near about 1 centimeter behind take an object right don't put the arrow over here because then there are chances that there can be mistake in your rear diagram now rule number one we will follow a ray parallel to the principal axis 
arrow will pass through the focus. We know how many rays are required to draw the image? Two rays. So one ray is drawn. Another we will use the third rule. The third rule says when the ray it passes through the optical center, it will go straight without any deviation. So pass a straight ray through the optical center. The rays they are meeting over here. Don't forget to put the arrows. The rays they are meeting over here. So draw the image. Now we can draw the arrow for the object to show that it is upside down. Mark it as let's say A, B. So now arrow is down. The arrow it is represented as A. So down we will write down A and up we will write down B like this. A dash. But since it is image, we will write down A dash, B dash. Now draw the shape of the lens also. Adjust it to draw the shape of the lens. Now characteristics. To write down the characteristic, the first characteristic, characteristic whether it is real or virtual since we have seen over here that it is inverted and inverted images are real and moreover it is formed by the real intersection of the rays the rays they are actually meeting over here so we will write down that the image it is real and inverted the second position where it is formed it is formed the image it is formed between f and 2f Third character is that what is compare the size of the image with the object. As we can see clearly over here, the size of the image is smaller than this. So we will write down diminished or in other words, we can also write it as smaller than the object. Smaller than the object. These are the three characteristics for the object which is kept beyond 2f. Now the third position when the object is kept at 2f. So at 2f again principal axis central line of the lens optical center 3 centimeters f 3 centimeters 2f on both the sides. So at point 2f we will keep the object. Let's say I am drawing the object of near about 1 centimeter in length. Again we will follow the same rule. The ray will go parallel to the principal axis. It will pass through the focus. It will pass through focus. The next one it will pass through optical center and it will go straight. This is this was rule number three. So it's rule number three. Now these two rays they are actually meeting at again point 2f. So draw this now draw the arrows this is object a b this is a dash b dash draw the shape of the lens now to write down the characteristic the characteristics are the first one it is again real and inverted because it is formed by the real intersection of the rays. Then where it is formed the position, the position it is formed at 2f. Third, what about size? If you compare the size with the scale also you will find that the size of the image is exactly same as the size of the object in this case. So this is a special case where the image is of the same size and is formed at the same point from the lens when, where it is kept at when it is kept at 2f. The next one is when the object is kept between f and 2f. When the object is kept between f and 2f we can take any place between f and 2f but don't take it bring it 
two closer to F, a parallel ray to the principal axis, then passing through the focus as we know, the second it will pass through the optical center, it will go straight without any deviation, without any refraction. So, we have to extend the principal axis also in this case. Now, the rays they are actually meeting over here. So, we will draw a straight line like this. Draw the arrows. Object, image, this is labeled as a b this is labeled as a dash b dash draw the shape of the lens so this is shape of the lens now characteristic the first character it is again formed by the real intersection of the rays so it is again real and inverted next what is the position it is formed beyond 2f, after 2f. So, we will write down where is image formed? It is formed beyond 2f. Third, what about size? As we can see clearly, the size is bigger. So, we will say that the image is enlarged. Or we can say the size, it is greater or more than the size of the object size of object or we can also write it as magnified images formed over here. Now the fifth one when the object is kept at f again principal axis central line of the lens optical center 3 3 centimeters f and 2 f on both the sides keep the object at f. A ray goes parallel to the principal axis. It will pass through focus. This is rule number one. A ray parallel to principal axis will always pass through the focus. Second will pass through optical center. And you will amaze to see over here that now the rays, two rays which are coming from here after refraction from the lens, these are the parallel rays. And where do parallel rays meet? We will write down the parallel rays, they meet at infinity. And since they are meeting at infinity, what type of image will be formed? Highly enlarged image is formed in this case. Highly enlarged image. Right? Draw the shape of the lens. Now the final characteristic where it is formed. Okay, before that let me label this as a B. The first character where it is formed we have written that it is formed at infinity. So we will write down it is formed at infinity and since parallel rays they are meeting at infinity they will be forming a real and inverted image. Then the size we have already written it is highly enlarged image which will be formed at infinity. Now the last one when the object is kept between F and O. When the object is kept between F and O, principal axis, central line of the lens, optical center, 3 centimeters F, 3 centimeters 2 F on both the side. Let us keep the object between focus and optical center. Now, parallel ray again. It will pass through focus. Use a sharpened pencil to get a better result always for the ray diagram and a scale, proper measurement. Then it will pass through optical center and again this is a special case where you see 
now these rays they are not meeting they are moving away from each other as you can see the distance between them is increasing so that means these are the diverging rays and we know that the diverging rays we can say that they are coming or they appear to come from a same point somewhere behind so we will join it with a dotted line behind we will extend it backwards extend similarly the second ray keep the scale on this ray like this and then extend it so they are meeting over here we will be drawing the image label this a b this one a dash b dash now shape of the lens shape of the lens is done write down the characteristic the first one now over here this is the first case out of all the six of different position of the object when the object is kept between f and o we have to remember that it is not formed by real intersection but this is formed by extending the rays backwards so this is apparent intersection and that means by apparent intersection what kind of image is formed it is formed virtual and erect image second uh, where it is formed we have we don't have to mention over here the position between f and 2f or something like that but we will write down in front of the lens that means on the same size as that of the object third what's the size the size it is enlarged or we can say magnified or greater than the size of the object right as you can see in all the six images when the object was brought closer and closer to the lens the size of the image got increased and uh, the next characteristic we will study about the when the object is kept in front of a concave lens when the object is kept in front of a concave lens how to draw the image we will again draw the, with the same baseline principal axis the central line of the lens to represent it as a concave lens we have drawn over here in the shape of a i alphabet this is o optical center 3 cm f 3 cm 2f on both the side now we will draw the object for concave lens for all the different positions of the object that means at infinity beyond 2f at 2f between f and 2f at f and then between f and o you can take any position but you will get the same type of image you can try it at your home also i am taking one object at this position now again the rule will be same the ray parallel to the principal axis will pass through focus over here we have to consider this as the principal focus or the first focus backwards you know that you have to draw the with the help of dotted line then it will go straight like this the other will pass through optical center and will go straight now we can see over here that the two rays they are meeting over here so draw the image label them a b arrow a dash b dash now draw the shape of the lens now we have drawn the shape of the lens to write down the characteristic the first one since it is also not the actual intersection this is also apparent intersection with the help of extending the line so this is not real inverted but this is virtual and erect images formed over here the second one what is the position it is position whenever this uh, the image is formed in the, with the same side as that of the object we will write down in front of the lens so in front of the lens third what about size it is virtually erect but it is smaller than the object so we will say it is 
diminished. Now there can be many a times a question that what type of lens will form the virtual erect and magnified object. So virtual erect image is formed by both lenses concave as well as convex but when it is virtual erect and magnified the uh, lens used is the converging lens that is the convex lens but when it is virtual erect and diminished then that means the lens used is diverging lens or the concave lens like this. Thanks for watching students.